rapid approach. Fred, take it away. Okay, so we're going to do our rapid approach maneuver. I'm going to hop back up in here into the school bus in just a second. So let me talk to you a little bit about what the rapid approach is going to be like. Uh, rapid approach is really one of my favorite maneuvers. Here's my school bus again. Yeah, like I said, no art major here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get up to speed. And we're going to probably be going uh, about 40 miles an hour. And Tom, who's going to be in the pickup truck in front of us, Yes, that is a pickup truck, uh, is going to slow down to about five miles per hour. So what's going to happen in this case, okay, we're going to come at them. And this is one of those distracted or drowsy driver type situations. And you know the you know the scenario. You're driving down the roadway. Everyone's going at the same rate of speed. You look away for a second. You know, not that school bus drivers ever get distracted with you know 50 kids in the back of the uh, school bus. Um, they get you know you look back for a second. You look forward. Everybody has slowed down. Well, the fusion system and also too the wingman advance system because we feature both in the school bus market is going to react to that by giving us an alert and. Um, then cutting my throttle and applying the brakes to help slow us down so we avoid that rear end collision. Okay, so I'm going to go hop in the bus now and uh, let's do the rapid approach. Okay, while you get in the bus, TJ, tell us uh, uh, your take on rapid approach. There's maybe some finer points that uh, Fred didn't get to. Yeah, so I think of this maneuver and the system, uh, how it handles it, as a, another pair of eyes and ears for the driver. Like Fred mentioned, there's got to be tons of distractions out there, right? And, uh, and the school bus drivers are, you know, some of the heroes we have out there, given the valuable cargo that they haul. So uh, imagine a, you know, a, a friend with you in, in the bus that doesn't get tired, that doesn't look away, is always looking out for your best interest ahead, always looking for a threatening situation out there for a car that, either abruptly stop or pulls in front of you and slams on the brakes or stalls in your lane or something like that. And, and the second that you get distracted and look away, whatever, you know, it, it, it's goal in life is to help you, has, help you give you an alert and then bring on the brakes if needed. And it's just there that, again, it doesn't get tired. Great. All right. Fred, are you ready for the demo? Yeah, we're rolling. So what we're going to do, Mike, is, uh, as I mentioned, we're going to get up to speed. Now, it's important to remember these are driver assistance technologies, not driver replacement technologies. Safe drivers, safe driving practices, comprehensive drivers are still important. Uh, you know, this isn't an autonomous bus, um, and uh, we are not going to see those for quite a while. So drivers are still important. And the system is here, and I like the way TJ put it, you know, that extra set of eyes and ears to help back you up. You know, that's why we call it wingman. Now we have two systems. We have the Wingman Advanced System, which uses the radar, and then we have the Wingman Fusion System that uses the radar and the camera working together. So Tom is up there. We're about up to speed. We're coming in about 37, 38. He's slowed down. There's my alert, and oh, the braking. And uh, you'll note I got an alert on my driver interface unit and then cut my throttle, applied the brakes. And you notice it didn't bring me to a complete stop. Uh, it actually brought me down to match Tom's speed. So uh, in that case, um, we avoided that rear end collision. So that's the rapid approach. Uh, one of the features of both Wingman Advanced and Fusion. Back to TJ and Mike as I head over to the kiosk to see that replay. Okay, thanks, Fred. So uh, both of you mentioned essentially the same thing, and that is that it's an extra set of eyes. It's like a friend. It's like your wingman. Um, it's, it's there helping you. Um, it would be nice to have a, a second driver sitting ne next to you all the time watching the road while you did other things, I suppose, but that's just not feasible. Right, right, right. It's, yeah, I mean, the, that's a classic demonstration of, you know, what we hear from drivers right there where the, you know, the forward vehicle, for whatever reason, slows down. It could be traffic in front of them, some other reason, who knows. The driver just happens to look away at the wrong time. Yep. And you get an alert. You get braking, and a lot of times what happens is the driver's attention goes fr away from the distraction back to looking out the forward uh, window, the, the front windshield, and the driver actually applies brakes, additional brakes, and 
you know, mitigates the accident themselves. Okay, let's go to Fred with the replay, please. All right, let's take it uh, through the replay here. Um, a couple things uh, to keep in mind. First of all, as we talked about, uh, you know, this is our rapid approach maneuver. And, you know, um, Nicole talked about uh, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, well, I like uh, chocolate and peanut butter myself. And this is a great opportunity to understand the power of air disc brakes along with the uh, collision mitigation technology because you've been watching us do a lot of braking, a lot of hard braking. And so those brakes are heated up. And I can tell you, Tom, in that uh, nice shiny new Chevy pickup truck is very happy that I'm running the bus with disc brakes as opposed to the bus with drum brakes. So that is our rapid approach. Again, the system is designed to help the driver out. First thing it does is give you an alert. You always want to pay attention to those alerts because they're the first sign that you might be heading into trouble. And then the intervention helps try to keep you out of trouble. Mike, back to you. 